here today teaching you how you can adapt a 2K turret, meaning AirTech 2000, to work on your Jolt. I know this is my modified Jolt. I'm not using this one. I'm actually using a fresh stock one. That was just what was close to me. But what you're going to need right now is a air restrictor removed AirTech 2000 turret, an air restrictor removed Jolt, inch and a quarter to inch and a half length of 1730 seconds brass. This piece of 1730 seconds brass is going to go onto the turret side on the turret. I can glue this brass piece down. I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to put the super glue inside the brass because it's harder to work around that spring on the 2K turret. I'm coating the inside with super glue and I'm giving it a quick press on to make sure it's perfectly straight and there is my brass segment on the 2K turret. Give it a quick rotate, make sure everything's functioning and it appears to be straight on there which is good. It's exactly what you want. I'm going to say it's about two inches, and I have approximately five and a half inches of brass left. So I will only be able to get two, but that's going to be enough to give you guys a firing test of this until I pick up more brass. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut a few segments here. I'm shaving them out and then I'm beveling them outward. And I have a dart here so I can test which end is the nicest. It would appear to be that end. And I can see that two inches is a bit too long, but I'm just going to go with two inches anyway because it's an easy round number to work with. So. Okay, in this part, you can see how I have cut my jolt here. And this is my turret, which only has two brass barrels because I ran out of brass. And I will show you how that just kind of is going to fit together. Um, I decided to go with this instead of having it keeping the full jolt barrel because one, it'll take down dead space, and two, it's a lot more compact, which is the whole point of the jolt. Um, unfortunately, there was not enough space here, so I have some little bit of epoxy putty here and I'm going to fill that in real quick and then I'm going to glue this turret piece in. And I'm making sure that this is straight. <laughs> Putting some more putty on there on the other side. And I just touched the super glue, so <laughs> I'm going to hurry up and finish this so I can get that super glue off my fingers. So take my screwdriver and smooth out the putty in there. This isn't exactly the best epoxy putty job, but basically there. Now as for performance mods, I figured I might as well do it in this video, so I saved it for you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start. First, you want to grab your 
plunger here. You're going to undo the screw on top. And it's just a normal Phillips head. Any usual screwdriver will do just fine. And this plastic piece will come off with it. And then the head. And you're going to take the spring out. And the spring is an okay spring. But this is the spring from my other jolt interlaced with another spring. And that's going to be a lot tougher. So I'm just going to put that in there. Um, as for seal improvements, you need to check your jolt to see how the seal is. Um, I'm going to do that after I put the plunger head back on. So basically just screw it right back on and you're good. I'm going to pry the o-ring off here and put some Teflon tape under it and re-lube it. Off. Got some Teflon tape right here. And I'm just going to run it along the track. Obviously, there are other ways to improve the seal, like you could use a different o ring or e tape under it instead of Teflon tape. I prefer Teflon because e tape can leave a nasty residue in your plunger tube. And Teflon tape is just a little easier to work with. And I'm going to slip the o-ring back on. And then I'm going to get my lubricant. I use Aces 90% silicone grease it's for plumbers. And this works really, really good. It's the best lubricant I've ever used for Nerf blasters. And... Unfortunately, the lid is a little tough to open, but that means it's not going to come open on you, which is good. So, that's what it looks like. It's just like a white consistency. Haha, -ha, that's what she said, whatever. And I'm just going to take some of it and smooth it on there. Make sure you get it all around the o-ring. I mean, you really want this to be lubricated well. And we're going to test now. And have a really good one, right. days at least. So you're just gonna want to compress this, sorry, and start putting your screws back on. Now the jolt only has the four screws on the bottom, so it's not like you have to worry about any others. Okay, so this is what my jolt looks like and if you're following this guide hopefully yours looks something close to this um, tomorrow I will hopefully tomorrow in the next few days I will hopefully finish the other two barrels and tomorrow I will upload a firing test of this so look out for that and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial so see ya